Hi guys, welcome back to the Essex Rotary Channel. We're out in the Bridgeport at RX8 and I wanted to have a chat with you this week about engine oil. Focus. Engine oil. Engine oil. So, this is a long overdue subject. We get asked about it all the time and I thought it's about time we done a video. So, engine oil in your rotary. It's, a, um, it's one of them subjects that's always up for debate. Everyone's got an opinion. Everyone uses something different. And the best thing I can say is what I'm going to put out in this video is our opinion and our views, and it's generally what we've found works at Essex Rotary on our cars and our customers' cars alike. So, a little bit of history, I suppose. Mazda recommended that you use 5W30 Dexelia in your RX8. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna be referring to RX8, but quite often, the oil that you choose, if your RX7, second, third gen's gonna be pretty similar if you um, stick to our recommendations, at least. So, engine oil. Keep saying it, you know, I'm going to be saying it quite a bit actually, so you're going to have to part with it. Excuse me while I join the road. Yeah, it's not really on me. There we go. So yeah, um, Mazda's recommendation for the RX-8 and the RX-7 I suppose in, in some climates, at least in the UK and Europe, was to use a 5W30 semi-synthetic Mazda branded Dexelia oil. Um, in the RX-8 we've found it's not the greatest with regards to bearing life, engine life, it tends to help contribute to dead bearings. Um, I think this is, we're going to get a little off subject here, but I think in some cases that is partly down to the fact that oil pressure regulators we find on engines we've torn apart can be as low as say 40 psi when factory is about 80. Um, that coupled with a thin oil, especially when it's warm, um, doesn't really help matters with regards to protecting the bearings. Um, that's why you'll find a lot of specialists will tell you not to use 5W30 oil. Now, bear in mind, you guys across the pond in America and in warmer climates may find that a 530 oil is okay, but I'm talking specifically our, obviously UK um, and our kind of climate around certain parts of Europe as well. Um, we would normally recommend a 1540 mineral oil if you really want to play it safe, or a 1040, which is what we can normally get over here, a 10, 1040 semi-synthetic. The 1040 semi-synthetic is um, normally needs to be branded, um, or not branded, but labelled with the spec numbers A3B4, and I'll pop something up on the screen here if I've got that wrong and I'll correct myself, but I think I'm right. Um, A3B4. The problem is some oil manufacturers put those specifications, or some bulk manufacturers put those specifications in really awkward places to spot, because that's really nice for them. Now, brands of oil, actually let's, we're not going to get onto brands of oil at this point, but let's stick with oil viscosity. So, if you're sticking with a semi-synthetic A3B4, um, or a mineral oil, you're generally going to be fine. Um, especially mineral, 1540, 1040, something like that, you should be okay. Um, if you're going to be using something different, like um, a rotary specific oil, and there are some on the market. Inamitsu's tend to be a 30, which is a fully synthetic oil. 
I've got a bottle right here. Oh, wrong way. There you go. Um, it emits is tend to be 30 oil, which is a fully synthetic oil. That's their rotary racing oil, which is specifically engineered for rotary engines. That's safe to use on any engine, whether it's running a SOHN, sewn, whatever you want to call it, or metering pump, um, feed modification adapter, I don't know. Lots of people are calling them different things. Um, but essentially, going back in the day, a sewn adapter or SOHN. Um, that intermittent oil, fully synthetic, is safe to use with a sewn adapter or without. Um, if it's been engineered by Edimitsu, taking into consideration it's going to be burnt in your engine. So um, they've engineered it not to be nasty to your engine, unlike conventional synthetic oils. Um, you've also got a 10W30 oil from Cynionic, which is a rotary formula oil. It will actually say rotary formula on the bottle. Um, we might put one, a little image up here. Um, that's also safe, um, or as far as we're concerned, it's safe. I've used it in my own cars over the years. Um, most of these oils I'm actually recommending I've used over the years and never found them to be a problem. The other one is HKS's 13, or HKS 13BT oil. Now that's a really odd viscosity, like I think it's a 10W45 or something. Um, but if you know anything about HKS's engine specific oils, um, they actually look to engineer oils that have got the, just the right viscosity for that particular engine. So their 10W45 13BT oil is 13B turbo engines. Um, again, fully synthetic, good for most engines, um, or good for most rotary engines, with or without a um, solar laptop. Um, yeah, getting back to conventional oils, at the or on our website, essexrotary.co.uk, or essexrotarystore.com, um, you'll find conventional oils, we offer a 1540 by comma, which is an X-Flow oil, and we also offer a 10W40 Millers Trident oil. Now both of those, the Comma and the Millers, are both decent oils. They're going to get the job done, but they're not, they're not the best when it comes to... What I'm trying to say essentially is, there are better oils on the market. If you use the Comma or the Trident, they're not going to kill your engine. But if you want real good protection, go with one of the aforementioned oils like the Edimitsu, the um, Cineonic 30BT oil, if 30B turbo engines your thing, um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, well, I personally love them. But yeah, they're, they're our recommendations, or my recommendations, at Essex Rotary, for the correct kind of oil you want to be using. There's obviously lots of other brands of oil. Um, we often get phone calls asking if a particular brand of oil is suitable for the car. I, I can only go on the recommendations that we have on the website that I've used. Um, while there's going to be lots of other oils which people are saying they've used and they're perfectly adequate and acceptable, um, I can't say whether a particular brand of oil is good or bad for it if I haven't used it. And I'd rather just be clear about that. And I'm not trying to be salesy with not or pushy with what we offer on our website, but we know what we offer works. Getting on to oil change intervals, I suppose, is the next thing um, when we're talking oil. Um, we'd recommend oil change intervals, and this does kind of go back to our servicing video. I'd recommend oil change intervals. I've done at three to six thousand mile intervals, um, or three to six months, if you're using your car regular. Obviously, I appreciate some cars these, or a lot of cars these days, uh, people second vehicles, so they may only do a couple of thousand miles a year. It's still important, though, in my opinion, if you're doing a couple of thousand miles a year, don't just assume, oh, I can change my oil every couple of years, it'll be fine. If you're only doing a couple of thousand miles, the car's not costing you as much as it would if you're doing 10k, 12k a year. So change the oil on a regular basis. Um, <coughs> no, I'm good. Um, change the oil on a regular basis. Because at the end of the day, 
protecting your engine with good oil is a must. So, the fact that you're going to be changing your oil on a regular basis is also going to be keeping it clean, especially if you're not running an SOHN adapter. Not that it's a must, but clean oil means that you've got a more cleaner oil, less contamination in being injected into your engine via the oil metering pump, the very small, tiny bore oil metering pump lines, and the oil injectors themselves. That's going to, clean oil is going to reduce the risk of your oil system clogging up and causing you problems. I guess what I'm trying to say is don't skimp on oil or oil changes. They're very important on any engine, especially your Mazda Rotary. Lastly, I'm guessing, um, and this is a little tag onto the back, um, premix. After our premix video we put out a couple of years back, I get lots of questions or lots of emails as well, or you spoils of one of them subjects and we tend to get it all the time. But I'm getting lots of questions with regards to people assuming that because you are not supposed to use synthetic engine oil in your rotary engine, that you're not supposed to use fully synthetic premix in your rotary engine. Now, do bear in mind that premix is engineered, or any company that makes premix knows it's going into an engine to be burned. So, a good quality premix, such as, say, Royal Purple's, Itamitsu's premix. There are other brands, obviously, there's, you've got Protec R, which is another brand which is popular. I've used it in the past, before we got hold of Royal Purple and Itamitsu. Um, a good quality premix is going to burn cleanly and ashless, um, so it shouldn't leave any deposits. And this is one of the reasons why specialists recommend not to use normal fully synthetic oils, because of the potential deposits or harm it can do to your engine. Now, synthetic premixes are, in our opinion, the best way to go, because of the potential benefits and advantages that can be engineered into a fully synthetic premix versus a regular mineral. So, if you're looking at premix, remember, fully synthetic's acceptable. If you're looking at engine oil, in a lot of cases, fully synthetic is not acceptable. Obviously, with the exception of the ones we've mentioned. So, with that all said, guys, oh, pothole, um, I'll try again. With that all said, guys, um, yeah, I think that pretty much rounds this quick chat about engine oil. Hopefully we can point a few customers um, or a few inquiries this, the, the way of this video anyway, and it'll answer a lot of your questions. If you want to order your engine oil, you can order it at EssexRotaryStore.com. Um, you'll find us, our main website is EssexRotary.co.uk, where you find a lot of information. There's a technical section. It's up there. Well, it's not up there on YouTube. It's up it's at the top there on our um, main website, um, and there's actually an article which I'll, um, I'll link to, which again discusses engine oil, um, what you should and shouldn't use. Um, yeah, that's you'll find that at essexrotary.co.uk. You can also find us on social media, at, on Facebook, which is Essex Rotary Specialists. You'll find us on Instagram and Twitter, at Essex Rotary. Um, that all said, I suppose, yeah, but, um, we better sign off um, and we'll catch you in the next video. Slippery low.